my channel, Jamie Fran Colors. Today we are going to be coloring from Hannah Lynn's Steampunk Darlings coloring book. I love this book. It's probably one of my favorites of hers. It's just, I love it so much. When I was looking for a page for today, I was flipping through and realized I'd already started this one for the background and never done anything with it. So I thought that would be a great opportunity to color her skin. Yay! All right, today I wanted to use more of a budget pencil. These are Castle Art pencils, and they come in 120 colors for about $48, which is about 40 cents per pencil. So they are an excellent price, and I think they're a really good pencil. So. Um, we're going to do her skin today. I've picked out um, five pencils to use for it. I don't know if we'll use all of them or not, but that's what I've picked. I will have the what I'm using on the screen up here in the corner. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. All right, we're all zoomed in. And I'm going to start with pity putting a, a base coat of number 116. So this is, it's a soft series. I don't know if they have different ones or not. I've only ever seen these ones. Um, they also don't have a name. So we're just going by number today. So 116, and we are gonna put a base coat of this. We're gonna do a little bit of a darker skinned girl today. I just thought it would be nice to do so we're just putting this down really soft no pressure we're just gonna lay it down there doesn't really matter too much we just want a soft layer we don't want to put any dents in the paper, but it also doesn't really matter too much direction or anything at this point. Just getting some color on the page. And this is a little bit of a darker color than we're used to putting down first, but I think it will be. So it might be intimidating for you, but it will be okay. Just go ahead and do it. You'll feel good about it later. <laughs> okay. So there we go. It's just a soft layer. Nothing too exciting, but it's down. That's great. Okay, then we're gonna go in with number 070, and we're gonna put in our shading. So we're gonna put in, we're gonna do light, layers on this today so no pressure just very light layers this is a very warm brown i really like a warm brown so that's what i tend to gravitate towards so i'm putting this around her eye there down this side of her face We want this to come up under her mouth, around her mouth a little bit. We're just going to put light layers. I think the key with working with these pencils and probably any pencil that's more of an oil-based pencil rather than the wax pencils like Prismacolor. So your polychromos pencils, your Pablo pencils, any of those is to work with light layers. And you kind of, you have to build that color up, which takes some time. So it can be a little tedious or we could make it meditative. Just keep going, you know, and kind of relax and enjoy it. But we're not adding pressure where we want things darker we're just going over it several times 
That is the key. Okay, so let's go around her eye here. Want just to go under her eye. I have to decide what to do with her nose. Hannah Carlson noses. You always have to kind of decide. Are we going to do a nose bridge? Are we not going to do a nose bridge? What are we thinking today? Maybe we'll do... Maybe we'll do a little bit of one. So I'll put a line there and put some shading. Under her nose, a little bit, around her lip, okay, let's go down this side of her face a little bit. And I think we need to shade the other side of her nose as well. So let's get this side of her, ch her face and then we'll go back to that nose. So we're putting this color in quite a few places. It's like everywhere but the highlighted <laughs> highlights, you know? Okay, so let's bring Some color here. Okay. It kind of look like a nose. Kind of. Okay. And then her neck will be shaded as well. It's easier to work with sharpened pencils. You'll get a smoother, nicer application. So sharpen your pencils when you need to. Rotate your pencils so that you're working on a nice tip. If one side gets a little dull, rotate it and find a new point. Okay. I'm just going over everything again, really. I'm building up the color because I don't want to add pressure, so I'm adding layers. I think I have some under the paper. Kind of made a mark. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to our next color. I think I'm going to darken that side of her nose just a little bit before I go to the next color. Okay. Alright, this is 068. Eight, and it is a darker brown and I'm going to deepen some of those shadows so the crease of her eye the perimeter of her face Ooh, somebody's got some base going in their car it's shaking my house I hope you can see See this. My light, eh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm darkening up those shadows. 
adding this color and it's just another layer I'm still no pressure we are building the color with soft layers We can keep this color tighter in the shadows. We don't have to bring it out as much. We're just building color. As much on this side but a bit. okay and then on her neck I'm gonna put some darker shadows Looking good. Got some nice shading on her. Okay, let's go back to our 070 and we'll go over it again. Over that darkest color, pulling it out, blending, adding color to her face where we think we need it. It's all about building color. Still adding this color, darkening things up. Just lots of layers, lots of light layers. No pressure. Okay, then let's go back to our first color, which is 116. And put that down. And I'm gonna put this over everything. Still staying light. Light pressure. Building layers.
building their beautiful color on this girl. So pretty. Okay. So nice. I love it. Okay, I want to add a little bit of warmth to her, so I'm going to grab 020, and this is a lighter color, but I'm going to go over everything with it, and just bring a little bit of warmth to her skin, and just, just keep adding more layers. We want lots of pigment on this page. Down the middle of her nose, we just want some warmth to do for your skin. Love it. Loving it. Okay. Now you can keep going, keep adding, maybe add some pressure to help burnish out this color. But we're going to use a little trick that I like to use to help smooth her out a little bit. We've put so many layers of pencil on here, which is wonderful. I'm gonna use a paper stump and some odorless mineral spirits. This, I'm using the Mona Lisa brand, but you can also use Gamsol. Um, I don't know what other brands there are, but I will link some down below. So I dipped my paper stump in the odorless mineral spirits and then I shook it off. So this is not dripping, you're not, you don't want it too wet, but we do want you know, it to be there, but not sopping wet, no dripping. Now we're gonna use the paper stump to apply it and add a little bit of pressure with our paper stump. And that's gonna, Move all that pigment that you put down and it's going to help blend it together, fill in that white speckling of the page, and it's just going to be amazing. It's like magic. Got to have enough pigment on the paper so all those layers that I had you put down, they're helping right now. Okay, you see the difference between her neck and her face? So pretty. Okay, so dip in the gam or the odorless mineral spirits, shake it off. So we know it's not too wet. And then using a little bit of pressure now, not a ton, you don't need a ton of pressure, but a little bit. We're applying that odorless mineral spirits to our page. If you feel like you're having a really hard time and it's not melting, blending, you may not have enough pencil on the page. So go add some more layers. You want lots of layers on here. Okay. Dip. Shake. And we're using such a small amount of liquid that it's not affecting our paper at all. Like this is thin paper, but it's not buckling. It's not being affected because we're using 
such a small amount of, of liquid. Dip, shake. Okay, and as soon as you've got it all blended together, it's it's dry. So we can go ahead and put more layers of pencil if we want and keep continuing the process. So I think I'm going to just darken up a few spots. So I'm going to grab the 068 and I'm going to darken up some of these shadows. And I could grab a black if I wanted. I really didn't want to use black. I don't tend to use black a lot unless I really, really have to. I could or I could grab just a dark color let's see what this does this is 039 and if we look at it it's purple but it's such a dark color it could probably work for our deep dark shadows oh yeah it looks nice I'm trying to get rid of the glare it's not working very well tonight can't even tell that it's purple it's just dark dark shadows always blend that out with our 068 So nice. I really like it. I add a little under of the purple under her chin here on her neck. And then blend it out. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. My goodness. I love it. 
Okay, I'm gonna take just a little more of that purple under right here. And then that 068. to zero two zero that was that really light color we used just to put in some warmth I'm just gonna add a little more to her cheek here and warm it up a little bit doesn't need too much love it okay I think she's so pretty I'm so happy with her let's give her some lip color let's go to our zero seven zero and we'll add some lippies here. Okay, and then let's grab the 116. The zero two zero will just add a little in there. So pretty. I love her. This is gonna be fun to for me to finish coloring. I'm glad I found this page. I'm glad I was looking through and found this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed learning a little bit of how you can use those budget pencils to the best of the ability and such a pretty color combination with them. So I hope you guys have an awesome week, weekend, that you find time to relax and to de-stress. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!